Hello everyone and welcome to Joyful Miles. Um, we are not Laura, Rob, or Jackie. Uh, I am Chris and this is Kim. And we're uh, helping out the gang today by talking about the merchandise from Marathon Weekend last week, a week and a half ago or, or so ago. Um, the gang's busy, busy pulling together a lot of other content and they also did not want to wait in the obscene lines nor probably spend hundreds of The small dollars. fortune that we spend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on merchandise. So we were foolish enough to do that and so they asked us to, to help them out. So, um, you know, we'll show you a little bit of the merchandise we bought as well as the merchandise that they give you for the races, so the race shirts and a few other little surprises that they gave us as well. Um, so with that, uh, the race shirts actually might as well jump right into that. So uh, Kim and I both have on some race shirts. So Kim has the... Uh, the Dopey shirt on. Um, it's a gray shirt. Girls have the V-necks and guys have the crew neck as standard. Um, it's got Dopey on there, kind of gray. Five years, the anniversary yeah. on there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see all of this, but the purple and green was a consistent mm -hmm. um, throughout all the Adobe merchandise, I guess. But Yeah, um, and then I have the, if you can see, the 25-year anniversary full marathon. Um, so it's got the 25 there at the top. Uh, you got the years, the 94 to uh, 2018, 26.2. Uh, um, same standard long sleeve fit, so marathon weekend, always long sleeves, tech shirts. Um, always has. Um, and it has the parks that they go through. Um, so these have all four. The half you'll see has uh, just the two parks that it runs through and so forth. Um, so with that, the other shirts that we got, uh, so we both did the Dopey. So we got all, all the shirts. Uh, first time doing, doing Dopey for both of us, which was great. Uh, we survived. So this is the, <laughs> this is the Goofy, um, as long as you can see that one. Uh, so it's white, uh, white texture, uh, orange writing on it, and it has Mickey and Goofy on it. So Mickey is on all the shirts this year, except, except for the Dopey. Uh, except for the Dopey, yeah. Right, yep. Um, so it's got the orange 39.2, Goofy's race and a half on it. 39.3. 39.3. <laughs> the amount that we run in, probably 30, 41, uh, or give or take. Uh, I got the year and stuff. And same design, you'll see on all of them, kind of that horseshoe uh, that's in there. So white shirt, don't love white. Yeah. Um, don't usually run it, they get destroyed pretty easily. But I did, I like the screen print on all the shirts this year. It seemed yeah. like a good quality. Yeah, definitely. Um, so this is the uh, half. Uh, that you'll see. So, black uh, long sleeve texture again. Um, it has uh, it has Mickey and Donald running opposite directions, unlike all the other ones, uh, which is great. Thirteen point one, uh, same setup there, and it's got your two parks. It's got your Magic Kingdom and Epcot on the sleeve as they normally do. Uh, then we also have the ten k, which is a navy shirt for the ten k. Um, Mickey and Minnie running together um, in harmony for the 10K. Um, just the one park on the sleeve here. So we've yep. got Epcot, um, Navy shirt, pretty standard. Yep. Cute. Yeah, great. And then the last one, so the 5Ks are never textured. So just short sleeve cotton t-shirts um, that you get. So it's got Pluto on it um, and Mickey. If you hear pitter-patter, that's Oswald running around. Our the dog, not, not, the <laughs> not the rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and this is actually, the colors of this are the same colors as Dopey, which is kind of cool. Um, probably just going to wear it around the house or something like that. And you were saying something about the fit too, right? Yeah, I'm unlikely to wear my, maybe if I paint a room or something. Um, I think there are unisex in sizing and I'm a pretty small person and the sleeves definitely come down like, past my elbows. Yeah. You laughed when I put it on, um, but it yeah. looks cute on you. So Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, most things do. Uh, the, um, I actually think Laura had said, if you listen, they, they came out with their expo recap, I think today, which is Sunday, uh, that we're recording it. Uh, she had gotten one size, she actually went back and got a bigger one just because she's like, I'm just going to wear it to sleep in or yeah. something like that. So Mine was pretty um, big in general. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate. I mean, it's a cotton kind of t-shirt, but it's not even like the soft like worn cotton, it's yeah, really it's stiff. like rough. And actually, I packed minimally for the first time in my life, assuming yeah. that I would wear all my race shirts, and I wore most of them. Yeah. Um, I put that on, and it was yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> I had to pack it back up, and I threw on something else. But yeah. So uh, this was our first time doing the five k. We'd done all the other races in random groups and things like that. Um, so I never actually got the shirt. It'd be nice if they go to tech shirts eventually, but then they'll probably also raise the price. Um, yeah. So what are you gonna do? Um, before we jump into the merchandise, though, there were a few other things that they actually gave us in the bag this year. Um, so one of them, which I think they started last year at the half, was the first time for the anniversary, where it's a luggage tag, uh, which is great. So it's got the anniversary on it, um, you know, the 25 years running, marathon weekend, uh, 1994, tw uh, 2018 on it, 
Uh, which is great. It's kind of rubber. And yeah, it's actually a really good quality, I yeah. think. Yeah, they're really, really nice. Um, I've had the half one on my bag, even though there wasn't a half, but that's why I always laugh at it uh, last year when it was canceled. Um, and I think they also gave these out uh, for the Pixar uh, Disneyland race this year as well. So maybe for inaugurals and, and anniversaries, this is something yeah. that they're going to start doing. I was excited last year for the half to get it. It was a nice surprise this year. I wasn't banking on anything yeah. being given to us. So um, I'll actually use this one. I felt bad. I'm like <laughs> using the one for the half since we didn't actually do the race. Yeah, well, that's a reminder. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing actually that they gave us, which was kind of cool, were these kind of bib holders. So it's called uh, bib boards. So they're snap on so you don't have to use. Uh, pins or anything. Did you use these for the races or no? I did not. I went with the old standby safety pin. Pardon me. I was kind of scared to try anything different mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the race, especially for the half or the full. Yeah. Did you, um, did you use one? No, I was going to use it. So I tried it on one day um, and decided against uh, using it. Uh, just because, again, I kind of put it on and it looked like it was slipping a little bit. I did see a lot of people wear them, uh, so, and they had them on to the finish, so apparently it worked, but it may have slipped kind of a little and then maybe got to a point where it gives. So really, they pop off into two pieces, um, and then it kind of just, I'll show you here, kind of goes in the back. You put one of the clips and the other one kind of clips on to the front, so it kind of stays that way. Um, it seems like it can move a little, but maybe if it drags or something. Uh, you know, it's supposed to prevent Safety pins, a lot of people get kind of holes all in your shirt, um, and this wouldn't necessarily do that. Yeah, I mean, I know that for me with safety pins, sometimes I'm nervous that, like, the bib starts to tear a little mm -hmm, in the corners. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this would help that at all. Yeah. Um, but they are really, really cute. So if you can see it here, it's got the Mickey and the Run Disney kind of on the, the two different ones. So it's got four or two of each. Yeah. It was kind of fun because we've been seeing these at other race expos, not by this specific brand, um, mm -hmm. but I remember seeing a, at the Marine Corps Marathon in D.C. One, yeah. yeah. Um, a little bit different. Uh, and they weren't focused on Disney, clearly, no. but I don't know, something kind of, I'll try it. Maybe cute. try it around here first. Yeah, for like a local race yeah. or something like that. If it works, yeah, definitely. And I, you can I, reuse like, them, which is great. Which is good, so yeah, I good. could see them kind of expanding the design on these. Maybe well, they like actually some had races. some, uh, at, they were actually at the expo. This company was there, and they had a whole slew of other designs or things uh, like that. So I'm sure if you go to, um, you know, their websites or something, it's called Bib Boards. Um, if you're interested in them, or check them out. You know, let us know if you did use it for the race. Comment. We'd love to hear, uh, you know, if it worked for you, if you liked it better yeah. um, than what you standard use. So the last thing that they actually gave us, it wasn't at the expo, but did want to show the swag anyway, these cool hats that we have on. Uh, Mickey ears, sorry. Uh, so another gang was going to talk about it. They were going to say another surprise, but we'll, we'll ruin it for them. Uh, so at the end of the half for the anniversary, they actually the gave the end of the full, full, sorry. For the anniversary, they gave us these sweet ears. So blue, you kind of have the silver, uh, silver kind of metallic ears on them and it's got the uh the 25 the anniversary so how it looks similar on that luggage tag which was great it was a nice surprise we got to yeah. the end and you know you kind of got your medal and then when you walked from there they were giving out the ears which was awesome actually when we were at mile like 25 and a half or so In somebody that had just finished and yelled hurry up you're gonna get these cool ears when you're done and <laughs> i thought she was joking because i didn't see anyone else with them yeah. so i was really excited and then the other cool thing that a lot of people started doing was going out and getting them embroidered uh, after so stopping off at any of the hat stores, and you can get your Mickey ears embroidered for you know eight or nine bucks, depending how many lines you use with the different fonts or colors. So a lot of people did, and it's a great way to, to commemorate it. So if you did get it and you didn't think about doing it, go bring back. it bring it with you next time you go down to, to the world and, and get it done. It's a nice way to, to yeah. help remember it. And we actually were going to do it the day after the race, and they told us it would take a couple hours, yeah, and so we, we ended up going the day after, and it took ten minutes. Yeah. We just hung out and shopped. So. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so we got it done. Uh, you can do it a lot of places. Mouse Gears does it. Uh, the Chapeau in Magic Kingdom has it. Um, and Hollywood Studios also has a place actually, as well. And actually, there's the shop um, in, near Dumbo in Magic Kingdom. Oh, yeah, the uh, the circus tent yeah. area, whatever that Casey's tent or something yeah, like that. Um, so that was the free yeah. <laughs> stuff that they gave you, as free as you're going to get. Um, but from there, uh, on to the actual merchandise, the, the Run Disney merchandise at the Expo itself, which we went to on Wednesday. Uh, this year they changed it a little, as, uh, as Laura, Laura Robin then talked about. Uh, usually it starts at 10 in the morning. They started at 12 this year, which caused quite a cluster uh, of, of people to show up between 12.30 and like 1.30, 2, 3 o'clock. And the line for the merchandise was insane, so that was one of the reasons I think that the Laura and Jack and them had skipped out on even going to the merchandise was because it ended up taking us about how uh, long? an hour or so. Yeah. Um, the lines were 
really long. Um, outside, too. We outside, have to wait in yeah. the cold. So um, luckily it stopped raining by then, which it, was nice. Yeah, it has stopped raining, um, and they were conveniently located next yep. to a very clean porta potty. Um, the yes. cleanest that I had seen throughout the entire race weekend. Yes, well, it hadn't been. Had, and no races were run through there yet. I'm sure after yeah. the marathon it was. Yeah, probably got a good They're never pretty. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, it was not the most fun I've had at Disney waiting in the races, but yeah. I mean, in lines. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was. A, it, it, I think a lot of the problem that they did, they started this with Wine and Dine and they saw maybe it went well, but there's like not even, there's less than half as many people, I think, yeah. you know, as, as going to be at this weekend. And they increased the number of dopey people that were there, so they all wanted to go early. Um, but they only had the Run Disney merchandise now in the HP Fieldhouse, where before they had a selection of it there, as well as in the Johnson Center, now whatever it's called, um, AT&T or something center. Um, Visa. Yeah, Visa I think center. it is the Visa yeah. Center. Um, so I think now they have it everywhere at once. They wanted to make it a little more miserable for people, so that they would buy the VIP passes to I, get I mean, in. I wouldn't be surprised. Which went at ten o'clock, but there, yeah. there's no way you're getting me to pay another hundred dollars yeah. to go and buy uh, more. Yeah, you get the VIP retreat in the morning, but again, I, I don't find that to be yeah. worth it in my opinion. But um, some people like it. They like the, the the warm tents in the morning and stuff. So more power to you. That's another podcast. You like it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so. So it was a long wait. We waited outside probably 45 minutes, and then we went inside to a second line. We're probably there for about 15 minutes on the inside line, and then you actually get into the merchandise. Yeah. So this year it was the whole floor, the merchandise of that um, HP Fieldhouse. Uh, there was the commemorative stuff was a small section in the back, but aside from that, it was that whole floor area. So it was big, open, so it didn't feel terribly crowded to me, but there were yeah. a lot of people in there. There were a lot of people running around. Um, it felt like a lot of merchandise because yeah. it was... There was so much space devoted to it, yeah. I thought. Um, so, yeah, so going into something like this where there is a lot of merchandise, uh, first rule. You need a plan. <laughs> you need a plan. Yeah, like with anything with Disney, you, you got a plan. Yeah. What you want. Um, it, there's really no way of knowing in advance you know, what they really have unless you're kind of waiting to see what people are posting. And we, I don't think we made an agreement that we wouldn't do that at all until we got there this year. Um, yeah, and I mean, we got there, you know, within an hour and a half of it yeah. opening anyway, and, and we didn't look or see. And they post a little bit of small selection of the stuff on the, the Disney blog, um, like or a day Disney, before, yeah. um, but not a lot. Um, so yeah, have a plan of what you want. If there's must-haves for you, know those and go right there, right? Because, you know, and then you can circle back, we'll get to that in a second, yeah. uh, to see if it's there. But, uh, so, yeah, our must-have list. Uh, we had to do the must-dos, which were, for me. Uh, <laughs> the magnets. Um, yeah, magnets. I want to definitely get something to commemorate 25th anniversary marathon, yep. and something for Joby, because it's my first, and maybe only, yeah. Dopey. Um, so, first thing first, I went right to the magnets. I think yep. you were off looking at men's stuff, and I grabbed both of them. Um, so, here is the first one. It's for the marathon. 26.2 in the Mickey shape. Um, it has little Mickey on it. It's black, uh, black, gold, and blue, kind of standard. Um, 9.99. Yep. I think these sold out later in the day. I don't know yeah. if they restocked them. Yeah, they may have or not for the marathon. I know the Dopey ones sold out while we were there. Yeah. Um, this is Oswald's. Well, that's what's in there. Um, <laughs> but really cute. And then we got one for Dopey too, which. I wanted more so than Right, since so it was our first time doing it. And we kind of collect these like everyone else probably Yeah, does. we have a fridge full of these. We don't put them on a car because we don't we know take them. Yeah, we know better. <laughs> um, and this way the weather doesn't have to you know, wear on them. But yep. it's purple. Again, the Mickey shape. There's a little dopey. Yep. They all said I did it this year, which I didn't love. Yeah. Um, We're not the I did it shirt people. There's yeah. a lot of people that swear by those and love them. Those aren't kind of our style. But. I also feel a little superstitious buying anything that says I did it before, before I'd did actually it. done it. <laughs> yeah, so I got a little nervous, but don't worry, I did do yeah. it. Um, so these are cute again, $9.99, yeah. um, and now going for exponentially more on eBay. Yeah, I mean, on eBay, I think we saw one up there with bids on it, not just listed for upwards of $120. For a magnet, that's insane. If you want to pay $150 for magnets, please reach out directly to Kim and myself. We take we'll, PayPal. We'll be happy to sell these. Venmo, yeah. we got it all. Um, yeah, seriously, we can pay for our one of our next one in race, maybe a 10K. Uh, the one thing that we didn't show on this, so it does say 25 years um, on the ear up here, kind of with the, the screen pin on the bottom. And actually, I just noticed this one doesn't say doesn't anything say about the five-year five year anniversary, no. surprisingly. Yeah. 
Um, just because it would make it a little yeah. more special. And all of the ones, the magnets this year, uh, were the Mickey ear design. I know in the past, sometimes they have Mickey ears, sometimes they don't. I know the Goofy oh, that they had. Oh, we had a challenge. It's kind of an odd shape. Mickey ears. Yeah. Um, so it was nice. Those were good. Um, and the other uh, must-get for us that we started last year, and will probably become a regular thing, is getting the ornament, the, the Run Disney sneaker ornament. So we went over to that. I went there pretty quick after grabbing one of my shirts um, to check and see. Uh, they were, there was a good amount of them actually still available when, when we got in there. Like we said, again, it was around 2.30 by the time we got in there. Um, so it's got the castle on the back, um, and then kind of on it itself it has kind of the different parks that you run through, the, the icons there, so Spaceship Earth, the tree, uh, Tower of Terror, uh, Castle's got Mickey kind of running, and that's kind of cool on the bottom, right? They have uh, all the different kind of characters for the races. Yeah. Um, so if you can kind of see that there on the bottom, uh, hopefully it's not being too reflective there on the light. Um, and this was... twenty six ninety nine. So not cheap. Um, they're relatively heavy, so make sure you have a sturdy tree. If you go with a real tree, you're gonna to need to put it on a thicker branch. Yeah. If you're a fake one, well, shame on you, you shouldn't have a fake tree. Um, <laughs> I also saw a keychain version of this that I thought was really cute. Yeah, just shrunk it like, down, right? Yeah, no. I'm not a big into keychains, but I kind of wanted to buy it just for the sake of it, because they are really nice. Yeah, and it seems like they've been coming out with different ones for each race, almost, race weekends. Yeah, because uh, it's it's it specifically says here. Marathon Weekend. Um, the, I don't think it, it, yeah, it says, does anything. It has the year on the other side. You can't see it because it's kind of closed in there, but it says 2018. Um, this one was nice because it had the castle on the back going yeah. up onto the top of the shoe, so different awesome. than last year's, but yeah. So those were kind of must grads. The other things for me going into it, I really, the only thing I really knew I wanted was to get a dopey shirt since this was our first time doing it. I know we get the tech shirts and the races. I don't really wear long sleeve shirts that much running, even when it's kind of cold out or maybe a short sleeve um, with a uh, either underarm underneath it or some kind of other running shirt over that rather than the long sleeves. So I want to get a, a dopey short sleeve shirt to, to run in. Um, did you have anything that you wanted to make sure you grabbed? Um, I don't think so. I actually love the long sleeve shirts. I wear them all the time. Mm -hmm. I wear them for running. I wear them for you know, kicking it around the house. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I, I wanted to get something else on top of the magnets and uh, the ornament just to, that I could wear to commemorate right. the marathon and more so dopey because I'd done the marathon before, but I hadn't done the dopey challenge. I didn't have my heart set on anything particular, so yeah. when I went there, I was just kind of thrown right. with the flood. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so with that, so the shirt that I did want to get, I uh, went in, went there immediately to look for it. So it was this dopey uh, shirt. So again, all the merchandise, the Run Disney merchandise is champion. They're kind of the sponsor of all the merchandise. So these shirts are champion. All the stuff you're going to get um, at the the Run Disney merchandise is champion. Um, so it's a nice blue color. Um, it's got these cool kind of vents on the side, which are great. They started. I mean, they, are they call vents. it a black insert, but well, yeah, they do. it I does mean, have a little. It does hole. have a little yeah. air hole there, which is great. Um, dry fit. I've got uh, now three of these from different races, like the same type of, of design, and I love them. They fit. They fit pretty true to form. Um, and yeah, this was this was a must have, and I really liked the setup of it. It wasn't kind of some kind of crazy or ridiculous color where I was going to begrudgingly probably get anyway. Uh, so that was nice. Yeah. What about you? Um, for me, one of the first. Oh, and this was oh. sorry, uh, thirty six ninety nine uh, for the t shirts. Right. Um, so I went right to the Dopey Challenge area because that was what um, something I definitely knew I, I wanted. Four people. To yeah, get yeah. Eggs. You don't want to mess with me <laughs> at an expo. Um, I'm small but mighty. Um, so I saw the shirt hanging up, and um, they actually had been they were hanging on like a little side cart thing because people had already gone through them and tried them on and mm -hmm. thrown them about, and yeah. Disney cast members were restocking them, but. Uh, I thought it was really cute. It's purple. I'm big into girly colors. So purple and gray. It says Dopey Challenge and has the 48.6 miles down with little Dopey. Um, it's kind of a mock turtleneck, which yep. is nice up here in Boston running. Yeah, it's um, cold. It's cold, yeah. I wear a, <laughs> you, you're cold all the time. I'm always cold, <laughs> but I tend to wear a lot of layers. So having something that's, um, one, breathable, and two, gives me an option to open it up, which I thought there, was nice. Which is um, good. And it has a little... Um, Finger thumb holes, thumb holes, holes yeah, in the shirt, which is really nice. And then the uh, back. Oh, the back has like a little uh, yeah, reflective, little reflective piece, top thing which there that a lot of the ones Nice have. for nighttime, I guess, kind of. I mean, I don't if think you it wear that as like an outer layer, too. Like if you wear a, a short sleeve or tank top underneath, you could also wear this kind of over it. And yeah, and it was chilly down there. I actually wore it out at night after the marathon. So, yeah. And really comfortable. Um, I think it was around 46 or $50. 
I don't really remember. Yeah. I and this purple, all the women's dopey stuff was this purple color. Yeah. All the men's uh, dopey stuff was this yeah. color for the most part. So, um, The next thing that I uh, wanted for myself, so I saw it, wasn't sure this was one of the things I kind of grabbed and wasn't sure if I was going to get it and then decided why the heck not. Um, so it was the marathon, 25th anniversary. I figured want to get something to at least commemorate, commemorate it. We've been doing it now for five years. Um, so might as well kind of honor that. They're not going to happen again. Uh, so it was great. You know, simple red shirt. You got the black, the, the screen print on there. You got the different parts up at the top um, with the 25 years. And yeah, nice, simple, good design. Same uh, design as the other one with these, uh, you know, champion vapor. Uh, again, these are good shirts. I, I wear them frequently for, yeah. for running. Um, and same price as the other one. Like I said, the short sleeves, $36.99. So this was a, one of the shirts. And you kind of mentioned this but the that I will say the staff were there was great this year. They stuff was getting picked over so fast. We were in there, you know, two and a half hours after it had opened and then it was after obviously the VIP people went in. But particularly for the dopey stuff, they were running around and grabbing you know, things, because people would just take handfuls of stuff and then decide, oh, I don't want this, and leave it somewhere. And put it down anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and so they were going through and collecting those, and particularly for the dopey stuff, coming back to the area um, and trying to hang them up, or people were yeah. basically just taking them from them as they went around. So it was great to see uh, that they were kind of on top of that, and then there was a lot of the, the other merchandise kind of strewn on, like, tables against the wall, and you had people kind of digging through. Yeah, I think there were, like, fitting stuff. areas along the perimeter, yeah. and that's where people were just kind of dumping things when they didn't want them. Yeah. Um, but they were getting really restocked really quickly, um, including this shirt, which was I bought for the marathon. Um, guy who was about to restock them, and there were a bunch of us that wanted, I think this is a medium or small, medium, yep. um, and he had them all in his arm, and he just said, take them, it's easier than me hanging them up. <laughs> um, so I snagged one. Um, it's that same purple-ish color, not the same color, I guess, but this is 25 years. Yeah, it's texture. It's a V-neck. Um, it's short sleeve. says 25 years. Marathon, same design years. as the one that yeah. was on my shirt, that same screen. Print, um, so. I wore it on one of the nicer days, I think Tuesday after the marathon. It's super comfortable and like yeah. fits really cute. Um, it's not like some of these shirts are like a little blousey looking. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just a really nice shirt. And I think it was also thirty six ninety nine. Yeah. 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 Same yeah. champion brand. Uh, I probably yeah. won't wear it for running just because it's like mine. Cute memento shirt. <laughs> um, and then the uh, the other merchandise. So the other thing I wasn't gonna get this because I had um, I have jackets and hoodies from I have one from the first marathon we did, which is kind of like a warm up. Um, I have one from a half two years ago, and um, I have one from other marathons that I did. So I was like, I don't really need one of these, and they're exceedingly expensive. But then I saw it and I said, Wow! This oh, I looks, do need one of these. I do need this. Um, so I loved it just because of the color and the design of it. So it's kind of the hoodie. Uh, zip ups. I don't like the overhead hoodies. I'm a, I'm a zip up guy. So for the dopey, it's in that same kind of blue color. It's got like black kind of speckles throughout it. You got your dopey challenge up here on the on the top, um, and it's cool because the anniversary it says on the back the five years running with dopey on it, which is awesome. Um, it's a great fit. Uh, it, well, for me, it's a good fit. It is a little tight in the arms. Um, I am not. I'm a leaner person. Um, if you were a bigger person, it probably would be kind of tight on on your arms, uh, but I really like it. the The hood is nice. It's warm. Everything's kind of like double lined. Um, and these, this is kind of the design they went to. I think like five years ago. This type of champion uh, hoodies, and I, I love them. The one problem with them, which um, Kim is not a fan of, is the pockets are very shallow and they don't zip. So do not put anything yes. valuable in there. You will likely Just lose keep your it. hands warm. Yeah. Um, I actually thought it was kind of funny. The color scheme reminded me a little of the New York Marathon yes. jackets. Yes, Rob had his on. We showed up, I was like, hey, we're matching. <laughs> Except not really. Except my race was longer. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is 48.6. Yeah. Ah, take that. Um, um. I um, also was not planning on buying any kind of hoodies. I have two from previous marathons that I'd done down there. Um, but I'm a sucker for the merchandise. And <laughs> I saw right this. <laughs> um, it's black zip up, uh, another hoodie. Yep. It's like pretty subtle on the front. It says marathon, um, 2018, 26.2 miles, if you can see that. Um, and again, the same pockets that don't mm -hmm. zip. Um, subtle on the front, not quite as subtle on the back. Um, 25 years running a little Mickey. I thought it was super cute. Yeah. It, it's polyester. It's it's pretty warm. I wouldn't wear it running. Um, yeah. But I wore it down there with the chilly weather, and I was pretty comfortable. And yeah, I mean, it's a good, good. It's not super warm. It's probably good for kind of a nice 
New England fall day, 50, yeah. 60 degrees, kind of put that over. Kind of fleecy like, feeling inside, though, yeah. which is nice. Um, I think this was eighty nine ninety nine, same as yours. Yeah, I think yeah. it was eighty nine ninety nine. Yeah, so ninety. Ninety dollars, not cheap for those, and that's why I wasn't going to get it. But unfortunately, suckers. Yeah, we're suckers. all suckers. Um, and the other thing uh, that Kim got right here was the commemorative hat. So this was kind of the retro style. So they had two shirts. Um, they had kind of wine glasses and I think one or two other things um, that has the old teal, purple, the pink. So your kind of '90s uh, Disney style. You know, your purple signs that they were all on property yeah. back then and stuff. Um, I wasn't going to get this hat when I had I had seen it uh, advertised by Run Disney yep. in, in advance of the expo. Uh, when I saw it in person, I thought it was even cuter. Um, I love the color scheme. I like pink, purple, anyways. So, um, but it's kind of cute. The front is like a sweatshirt kind yeah, of fabric. Yeah, kind of like that cottony. Um, it says yeah, marathon, twenty five years running. Yeah, definitely not. It's more like a casual. Your hair looks terrible. Um, yeah, just run into the second store day hair. Whatever. You throw this on um, and looking good. But, and this was twenty seven ninety nine. There were a lot of these left. Um, I had actually... There were a lot. Well, because you couldn't see them where they were. Oh, yeah, you found the It was hat. interesting. Like, they were kind of on this, like, back wall crossing the I Did It shirts where we were selling it, but those were kind of way off to the side, and if you didn't go around this, you wouldn't have seen any of this commemorative merchandise. Yeah. So. Um, I had actually gone in wanting a new running hat, and there were a couple that were really cute, but I think they were all white. They were all white. I think there was one that was black. Was it? Maybe not. I don't remember. I don't um, but the hat that I had bought in the past for running was a Run Disney hat, and it was also white, and it's kind of grimy looking now. So I swore I will only buy hats it's not white. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of why I walked away with this. But it's really cute. Um, yeah, it's got your, your old designs, and it's got the, the parks from that back then. So it doesn't have um, Animal Kingdom on it. So it just has uh, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, or MGM as it was back then, and Epcot on it because in 1994, those are the only three parks that there were. Uh, which is great. And so, as far as the rest of the merchandise, that's that's all the damage we did. <laughs> uh, small fortune later. But um, as far as the other merchandise, the thing that was unfortunate this year, it looked like to me, uh, and we talked about it a little bit, was that typically there's not much 5K merchandise at these things. Um, there's maybe two different types of t-shirts and a magnet. But I feel like in the past, there's been, for 10K, at least almost a full row, or a full rack at least, with yeah. both men's and women's shirts, maybe a long sleeve and a short sleeve. Um, the magnet, maybe a hat or visor. Um, this year, it felt like there was nothing. Yeah, I actually kind of thought, oh, it might be <coughs> nice to get something from each race since I was doing all of them. Mm -hmm. And 5K and 10K were split up in the same row, and there was like nothing. Not even the same the, row, the same uh, side. Yeah, same of a side row. Yeah. Right, yeah, and there was really not much left for the 10K, especially for the women's. Uh, I think one of the shirts was completely gone. Mm -hmm. Magnets were gone. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was unfortunate. There were people going around and looking. There was actually this one lady that was almost brought to tears because all she wanted was a magnet. This was her first time running a 10K ever. It was going to be there. Um, and unfortunately, she couldn't get it. I think she can go on eBay now and buy it for $110 if it meant that much to her. But hopefully, she'll put that money towards another race instead. Yeah. Um, but it was sad that there wasn't that much fruit fried. Yeah, it's a bummer because the 10K is a nice, approachable race. And, and a lot of people's first Disney yeah. race, I think. Um, so and, you want something yeah. to kind of... Leave home. Yeah, leave to, to take home. And, and I think maybe part of it was because they increased the number of dopies. Um, so of the 10K, there was such a small percent of people that were just running the 10K. Mm -hmm. um, since there was almost, I think, 11 or 12,000 dopies and maybe 4,000 people that were just running the yeah. 10K. So maybe that was their thinking. And similarly, because that small number, there was a very, a very small amount of goofy merchandise as well. That was, again, only yeah. one side of a rack, not a full row like they've had in the past. And they've been having trouble selling out the, the Goofies anyway, um, so there's probably not as many people. But they had the nice hat you were talking about, and then I think they had a long sleeve. Uh, they had a short sleeve shirt and maybe a hoodie for men, and I think a long sleeve and short sleeve for yeah. women, and that was about it. Um, so the one other thing, though, um, they talked about the other merchandise that now they started doing. Oh, doing. so uh, a lot of people dress up for Disney races, if you haven't done one. <laughs> um, this guy is like the king of costumes over here. <laughs> um, but Disney started cashing in on that, and they had a whole area with really cool Disney running costumes. Um, 
tank tops and running tights and, and tutus and sleeves. Yeah, all in character. So I loved the I think one. Visor too. Do they have some visors for that? Um, they had different hat head pieces. So yeah, yeah. like Maleficent, they had um, like the headband with the, the horns. Right. Um, they had the visor for Minnie. Yeah, they had a really cute Cheshire cat outfit with the pink and purple mm -hmm. shirt and um, the, the striped kind of leggings. Yeah. So those were the three that I, we remember: Cheshire cat, Minnie. Maleficent. There was, we think there was one other one. If you do remember what it is, add a comment. Let us know. Um, I think it was a princess, but I'm not sure which one. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, I kind of, I, I love the Cheshire Cat stuff. It's pretty I, cool. I kind of wanted it, yeah, but we it. clearly had spent enough. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I think um, we didn't touch on this, but we were disappointed that again there were no beer glasses. Yeah, there was no beer glasses. They had the they had your standard turbises. They had the turbis with the cup, like the mug ones. They had some wine glasses. I think they had the insulated almost turbis wine glasses. Yeah, which was cool. that was kind of cute. Um, but and then your standard your pins. So the metal pins and then the regular kind of pin pins, um, which you could pre ordered if you wanted. The uh, the pre order jacket as well was a similar material uh, to the one that Kim got. Um, and people tend to like that design. I know it's kind of a, a, a crapshoot, unfortunately, because you have to buy it without even seeing yeah. it before. I remember one year it had that big sneaker on the back, and everyone hated it. Yeah. And everyone was pretty angry that they, they now had to get it. They couldn't return it. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, so there was that. And then that, the merchandise, I mean, that, that character merchandise, though, I'll be interested to see. It looked like some people were buying it. I think they'll probably, you know, I'll be interested to see a princess. If they do a princess line of it, they'll... They'd be foolish to not do it for Star Wars, oh, yeah. and they didn't have any men's costume stuff, so maybe they'll introduce those for Star Wars. There might have been some men's there were, stuff. There were. There, there for, I remember the mini outfits, they had um, a Razorback tank for girls, and there was a short sleeve shirt. That it could have just been small. It could have been a men's shirt, but no, it's not. mini shirt? Yeah. No, it was a Mickey. <laughs> it was definitely Mickey-esque, um, but I don't know if it was just a women's. Um, short sleeve or yeah. if it was supposed to be a men's and it was like extra extra small because it looked pretty little. Yeah. So, so um, but all in all, uh, you know, and then the checkout line was long, but it was, it's pretty efficient. They're, they're good. They had that kind of down the, the checkout there, so you're not going to wait yeah. more than 10, 10 minutes really with how long those lines are. Um, and that was it. And just so you know, if you are buying Run Disney merchandise, you have annual pass or a Disney Visa card or DVC, yeah. I think these, yeah, you can get discounts on your merchandise that you would uh, get, so the 10% off or 20%. Um, so just be aware of that, uh, that you can use it. And then also the other thing that I think a lot of people don't realize, if you buy something there and you're really unsure about it, after the fact, just keep your receipt. So any of the gift shops, in your hotel, in the parks, wherever it is, if they have Disney merchandise, you can return it there. So that's a good little tip for you um, to, do, uh, to do that. So, so if you're hesitant and think you're going to have to travel back to the expo, don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, and they do sell some of the merchandise after the races, or at least after the marathon, like once everything's wrapped up. I know that. Yeah, I wouldn't count on it. No, I Sometimes they do. Uh, we even saw um, one of our friends that was leaving saw some of the merchandise at the airport in Earport, Earport, um, at MCO, actually some of the Run Disney merchandise there from the weekend too. So they were getting it out quickly yeah. um, to those places. So that was it for, for that merchandise. Um, we did go over to the the Visa Center um, for a little bit. We were pretty dragging after you know yeah. an hour in line. You know, another 30, 45, 50 minutes of shopping. Um, so we went over there, grabbed a pretzel. Uh, we needed, and then we needed, we needed sustenance. Some, we needed something and a beer. Uh, and then uh, walked down to the floor. A little disappointed in the floor. I know I think um, uh, Jackie, Laura, and Rob had mentioned it on, on the podcast. And similarly, we just weren't, we just didn't like it that much. It just felt, maybe because we were tired. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel usually we're super like, pumped up for the expo and we do all the interactive stuff. Like, we spin the wheel, we do the Cygnus stuff. The samples, the, yeah. you know, all that stuff. And that the Cygnus stuff I think was the same as last year. Like, you get the jump <laughs> shot or there was like little competitions like the, where you run and play. The VR and then like the pose in front of like yeah. a, a green screen um, kind of thing. So it just wasn't enough of a draw for us. Yeah, and um, I feel like in the past two, Champion always had a big section with stuff. They didn't have that. Obviously, New Balance. They weren't there anymore this year, so there was no actual uh, sneaker companies there um, themselves. I know the the um, whatever that shoe store is on property, the athletic Where, one, um, the one in downtown Disney, yeah. the Disney Springs. Someone will know what it is. Yeah, um, they were there, so they had a few of the varieties of, of shoes in separate corners and things for them, but there wasn't kind of that big presence. I'll be interested to see if they're gonna get another sponsorship, um, you know, for for this upcoming at some point later this yeah. year. 
It'd be um, nice because uh, aside from the sneakers that New Balance had, they also had some really cute, yeah, yeah Disney. And I like New shirts. Balance clothing. So yeah, I mean, they, people are used to it and yeah. run with it at home. So. So, um, so yeah, the expo floor wasn't that great with the vendors. If I was the vendors, I'd actually be a little disappointed and angry in the way that they set it up because I'm sure a lot of people just bailed. Yeah. They've got their dopey bibs, which again was a long line early in the day, shortened up. But if you're waiting a half hour for that and then an hour for merchandise. You know, you're at this expo for four hours. The last thing you want to do is then go down to this expo yeah. floor and, and sort through there. We actually saw a lot of people um, <clears throat> not even go into that. Yeah, they just um, got their stuff. They, yeah, they got their, either mm -hmm. they went in the line for merchandise and left, or we also saw a bunch of people bailing from the merchandise lines because yeah. they were so And you just long. had no idea how long it was going to be. Yeah. Um, and so, but the one place that uh, we did stop at in the expo floor, um, which has gotten better over time, is Raw Threads. Um, you got a shirt. I think it's just gotten bigger. I think yeah. it's always had. They've had. Well, they've gotten. They've gotten, gained a lot of traction um, down there. And you got the shirt that you ran the marathon in this year. Yeah, you said, a wilderness explorer. Was it shirt. A, a little big. Yeah, I think uh, that it runs a little large. Yeah. Um, I'm smaller up top, so maybe might not be true for everyone. I don't know, but. Um, the the Raw Threads quality is really good, really soft. Um, I got this one shirt. I thought I had to get it. Um, it says race today. I'm a nervous Rex. Um, I love puns, so it's perfect for me. Yeah. Um, they asked, it had an immense size as well. Chris was mad that I saw it first, first but, so she get, she um, got dibs on it. I, I was I was very close to getting it, but then she would just sneakily always wear it when I wore it, and that would be a couple that wears the same clothes together, stays <sighs> together. <laughs> in public together. Um, but yeah, they actually have, I feel like in years past, at least I haven't seen a before men's clothing, it seemed like they had a, a fair amount of actually men's shirts. Um, yeah, this, and I think their booth is getting bigger oh, and bigger. Oh, it's definitely. They have really cute stuff. stuff. Yeah, a lot of good <laughs> shirts, a lot of funny shirts. Yeah. Um, so. but, um, but yeah, so aside from that, we didn't get anything else on that expo floor. I, I think we kind of went in, we did one loop around and, and really just left. Uh, we were tired, um, didn't want to do any more, met up with... Uh, with Rob and Laura and Jackie and some other people at the grill and had a beer and hung out for a Much little bit. Much needed beer at that point. Yeah. Um, but that was about it. Um, so all in all, um, decent good, and good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Meh, Expo. I didn't have the fun that I had before. Yeah. We were there for a long, usually we're there for like two spent, hours and gone. Yeah. We're, we were there for almost four and a half, and a half hours. hours and, and half of that was waiting in yeah. line or something. Um, but that's it. If you have any questions, or you had any merchandise that you got that you want to talk about, or questions about what we've got, feel free to comment. Um, head over to the Joyful Miles Facebook page and the group. Um, we'd love to see pictures of things that you got and share with other people, which would be great. Um, and I think that's about it. So for the gang that's not here, and for Chris and Kim, have a joyful day. Bye.